Hi guys, how are you? Today we're going to create uh, this nice looking login form with just customizing bootstrap variables, bootstrap SAS variables. Um, we're going to write some additional CSS, but this will be really minimalistic, just uh, background color and putting the form in the center. So the form style itself is completely built using SAS variables. Let's start. Okay, here is my project setup and here is my result, which is blank page for, for now. Uh, for this project, I'm using Webpack Bootstrap Seed project, which is uh, available on my GitHub account. And you can find the link of this project on the video description also. And yeah, let, let's start and uh, I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, Bootstrap form from official documentation and put it in the body. And let's start uh, seeing the result. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give the ID to this form to apply some uh, minor styles, like putting in the center. Um, okay, login form. Uh, let me write this in index CSS. Login form. Let me give it a width of uh, 300 pixel and put it in the center. Um, and I'm gonna uh, set display to flex for body. Play flex and align items center and justify content center. Okay, now my form is displayed in the center. And let me do, let me give also background, uh, background image is the one we have under image PG, JPG and Let's give it, let's, let's see so far. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have this background, but it's stretched. Let me give background size cover. Okay, we have this nice background and let me give also padding. Uh, Yeah, let me give padding um, because when we see on a smaller size to have this nice spacing between um, the form and the edge of the browser. Um, padding about 30 pixel. Okay, now let's move on uh, on the bootstrap variables. Okay, uh, yeah, but before this, let me change something in the HTML. I don't want this hint, email hint. Um, I want to make my button as a block, button block, uh, let me call it login. And instead of uh, check me out, I'm going to call it um, remember me. Okay, now let's move on variables. Um, okay, let's start with uh, with the colors. So, um, Bootstrap has a default body color and body background. Uh, here they are. So, uh, the body background right now is white, and body color is uh, gray uh, 900, which is which is almost black. So, um, I'm gonna revert them. Uh, where was it? Here they are. I'm going to revert them and put the body color white and the background gray 900. Save this. And my labels color was changed into white. Uh, okay, let me put, put this uh, form into a card to have this nice border, card body, uh, and 
card title uh, login form. Okay. Okay, we have this card, but uh, as far as the background of the card is white and the text is white also, we can see. So let's search for card variables. Okay, now we need to find card BG, which is here, and from white, let's change it to uh, black. Uh, or let's change it to gray 900. Okay, here it is. Um, I want it to be a little bit transparent, so I'm going to give it a transparency, RGBA um, 0.9. Okay, maybe a little bit, 0.8. Okay, that's better. Um, and I want to remove this... Um, this border radius also from the button, from the input, uh, from, from everything basically. So I'm going to search for border radius. Um, here is card border radius, which is border radius. And here it is. So I'm going to set this to zero and set the large one and the small one to zero also. Okay, we disabled this border radius. Um, by the way, this title is too small. Um, let's put it in H3. Okay, better. And let's put it in the center. Okay, the button is primary color and the primary color is this blue. Um, I want it to be green. So I'm gonna go to the variables and there are basically two options here. Um, I can change the primary color to green or teal or cyan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use teal here, uh, which changes primary color and my button uh, becomes nice, a nice green. Or um, I can use here uh, a BTN success and customize the success color from here. So I'm going to leave it as it is right now. I'm going to change the primary color. And as far as the uh, border color of the input is also changed, and I, I want it to be changed also. So, um, okay, now let's, uh, let's customize these inputs and change their background color to dark and remove this box shadow. I'm going to search for input variables, uh, and here they are. Uh, okay, we need to change background color for for the input. I'm gonna keep searching. Maybe input BG something. Yep, we have it. Um, here's our input BG, and I'm gonna change into um, black. But I think we need to also give uh, transparency here. Um, and input color, which is also dark color, I'm gonna change it to uh, gray 100, which is which is light color. Save this, and here is my input. Um, okay, when I type something, it's this, this gray 100, but the input has also this placeholder color, which is uh, gray. I'm gonna search for a uh, placeholder, and here it is input placeholder color and I'm going to set it to uh, gray 200. Okay, here is my placeholder color and here's my text. Um, I'm going to increase border width. I want it to be the border a little bit thicker. So border width and here's input border width uh, which is input button border width and which is border width, and, and I'm going to change the border width uh, globally and see what happens. Okay, nice. By the way, I want to increase the form width a little bit. Maybe 360. Yeah, that's better. Um, 
Yeah, I, I increased the border width of these uh, inputs and I want now to remove this box shadow from these inputs. Okay, I search for box shadow. Um, here I have some global box shadow settings, but I don't want them. Uh, I want input button focus box shadow. I think this is what we want. And I'm gonna set this to none. And let's see. Yes, exactly. So by doing this, we have uh, removed the box shadow and we have uh, this nice um, green uh, border. Um, I, I don't like this, um, this green. I think it's not the one I want. Uh, I want this nice teal color. Um, primary is teal. Okay, let's try a different color, like for example, green. Uh, oops, green. Okay, that's that's different color. Uh, let me re revert it back to teal and leave it as it is for now. Uh, basically, I can change it to any color and the uh, the border and the button will be also changed. So let's try, for example, indigo and change the primary color to indigo. And we have different styling button. Um, this border color is a little bit light. I want to make darker. So I search for input border color. Um, which is by default gray uh, 400. By the way, I want to also decrease this and make it lighter, maybe gray 200. And there should be input border focus color. Um, focus, input border, yeah, input focus color, input focus border color. Yes, and the color here is component active background which is primary. And this component active background is uh, fade out uh, by 0.25. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove this and put here uh, maybe just primary, primary. Okay, here is primary. Uh, does it really working? Oops, I changed button focus color. Uh, okay, keep searching. Input focus border color, which is this one. And I'm going to set it to primary and see. Yeah, but it's, I think it's too dark. Let me lighten it uh, by, I think here it was lightened by 25% and the component active background is the primary. So primary was lightened basically by 25% but it seemed too much for me. So I'm gonna lighten it to 15%. Okay, yeah, that's better, that's nice. Um, that's not the one I showed you uh, at the beginning of the video. Um, that's the purplish version of the login form. But that's basically all. So you can customize this form uh, as much as you want from the variables itself. The only thing we did was uh, just this background, um, background image and centering the uh, form in the, in the center um, and the HTML, of course. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.